first fishing expedition was when I was eight years old. I had my dad wake me up real early. I had my push button combo and my jitterbug and ran down to the lake, made that first cast. Bloop, 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 bloop. Wham! That bass hit that lure and I reeled it in and right after that I knew I'd found a new love and that was the driving force of my, my life right there. My dad made a big point to, to introduce me to the outdoors, uh, specifically hunting. He loved whitetail deer hunting and also fishing. So he taught me a lot about hunting and a little bit about fishing. And also my papa, who uh, lived in Dallas, he always took me fishing in the summertime. Taught me about bass fishing and uh, bird hunting. And, uh, and dad got into the rod business and uh, invited me into the, the company to teach me about uh, building rods, craftsmanship, and customer service, and uh, just quality and a product. And uh, that's what's helped me build my own brand, kiss the rods, and do so well, thanks to my dad and my papa. Right out of high school, I decided to join the military. Got with the Army and uh, had a lot of fun in my tank, battle tank. Was sent to Desert Storm uh, for six months over there. Uh, I was proud to serve, met a lot of neat people. I was real proud to be a veteran of a foreign war. I got back and it's been a neat part of my, my uh, my, my pride in America um, as I built my business and, and uh, created American jobs and uh, just help people in my community and, and so I'm really excited to be uh, have an American made product in, uh, in Texas today thanks to uh, my time in the, in the service. Well the most enjoyable part of my business is innovating and uh, create new and better products. Okay. I had this uh, drive, this, uh, this feeling of, of not being satisfied with the status quo, the cookie cutter rod. And so year after year, I can't just settle down and, and uh, relax on my, my innovations. I have to keep producing something new because I feel like I want to be the leader in the industry and have the latest and the greatest. And that's why um, you can look back in, in his history of Kiss the Rods and see all these new uh, innovations and parts and that uh, now you can see in all the other rods on the market today. And so being a, a, a trying to be a leader in the industry with, with uh, new designs and uh, more importantly quality innovations that uh, are durable and, and help the fishermen catch more and bigger fish. That, uh, is a passion of mine.